We are here on the beautiful Provo River this morning with All Seasons Adventures. We're about to go fly fishing and let's see what we can catch. A half day fly fishing trip is about four hours on the river. Um, we give you lots of instruction. You're out with our lead guide, Craig, today. He is an exceptional guide. And he, you know, he'll show you the ropes, bring you all the equipment that you need. You guys just need to show up dressed for the weather and, and uh, gives you a little history, a little background on fly fishing, and then uh, gets you out there doing it. And it's rather productive. Uh, you tend to catch brown trout primarily, but there's always a chance at rainbows, cutthroat, and Rocky Mountain whitefish. The Provo has a very healthy population of brown trout, so even the beginner, novice fly fisherman is gonna have opportunities to get fish in the net. Explain a little bit about the finesse of fly fishing and the knowledge required to be a good fly fisher. It's really about enjoying your time in the out of doors. Catching fish really comes second, and it seems to be easier, you know, if you're just enjoying your time. There's a lot that goes into it, you know, from the get-go, you have to be able to tie your knots. Picking out the right fly, which varies season to season, everything's constantly changing. You have to know what bugs are out. The best advice I can give our guests um, would be to listen closely to the guide and be patient um, and really just let it slow down and, and that really leads to uh, hooking fish normally. Yeah, so just take a break from the rush and can kind of come out here and have a, just a mellow day on the river. Exactly, and it's definitely not hard for the guests to pick up on that. You know, that's that's really what the great thing about, you know, All Seasons Adventures is, is these guests come from all over the country, the world, and uh, it's wonderful to get them outside and get them to slow down and really enjoy nature. So we come pick them up right at the hotel, take them out and, and show them a great time, and, and the guides give them a lot of background on all the interest in history, and, and uh, everything that surrounds Park City. This is Craig, he was our guide today. Very knowledgeable about all things fly fishing. For a uh, beginner fly fisher such as myself, what would be your best tip that you would offer someone who has never fly fished before? Well, I think you guys have made the right approach by hiring a guide, at least for the first time. Our knowledge of the river and the entomology of the bugs uh, for this specific river can uh, help you guys maybe just learn a few tricks of the trade. So you said you grew up in uh, Florida. You've always had a passion for fishing. Well, I know uh, my great-grandfather was a commercial fisherman, and it skipped a couple generations, and then that's something I picked up with my father at a super young age, uh, about five years old, started catching brim on canals and ponds and lakes around Florida, and then picked up a fly rod, you know, seven or eight years old, just wanted to try to catch a fish in as many different ways as possible. Um, and then now it's evolved into a, uh, a fly fishing guide career and I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> fly fishing isn't really just about catching as many fish. Explain how you approach it. You can take different values from fly fishing and, and, and you know, turn it into an art form, whether it's casting or whether you enjoy tying your own flies and putting your own twist um, on the flies themselves um, by going out, observing, seeing the shades and the tones of the bugs for that specific time of the year and then going home at night and trying to emulate those same flies and then getting out the next day and seeing if that is going to work out for you and that's where the art form I believe can uh, show some value um, and of course casting a fly uh, or dry fly or learning how to cast a fly rod is definitely going to show a lot of art form um, as far as the technique and you know the way the things move through the air is uh, can be pretty spectacular. So if I wanted to get involved and uh, check you guys out, how would I find you? Online, www.allseasonsadventures.com. Um, Instagram, All Seasons Adventures. Phone number, 435-649-9619. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, hopefully the concierge and word of mouth around town is another way to track us down. We've spent a beautiful misty morning out here just outside of Park City on the Middle Provo River with the All Seasons Adventures crew and I just want to say a big thank you.